Hey, and welcome back to Mindspans. I'm Craig, and uh, today we're going to talk about quieting our mind again. And this time we're going to do a really, really simple exercise, and it it actually encompasses a lot of different things as it relates to uh, meditative practice. And it's something uh, we call a, a body scan, uh, but basically it just means we're going to go through each part of our body and, and relax it and try to connect with it. One of the things that I learned when I was first uh, exposed to meditation or meditative practices was when I was uh, training uh, for a ski team, uh, a slalom team, when I was very young. And the coach had us visualize the course and to help us uh, plan our turns and, and all that kind of stuff. And it really helped. And, and so. Uh, that was how it all sort of began, and I kept studying it, and and uh, and here I am, many, many, many years later, sharing this stuff with you. So let's take a, a stretch, so we can get ready for this. Breathe deep in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Just so you know, this whole breathing in through your nose thing. There's there's a reason for it. There's a sort of a conical area so when you're and you have the, the little fibers that clean the air and then it it heats it and moisturizes the air so that it's prepared before it goes in the lungs so there's actually a purpose for that um, and relax your shoulders and your jaw mind, or whatever you like to relax that helps you get into the right frame of mind and so what we're gonna do is I'm just going to walk you through sort of structurally how this would work and you could do this while you're lying in bed or anytime really. Um, and it has several purposes. So the first purpose obviously is just to relax. So you think about uh, your hands uh, and trying to relax the different muscles in your hands and you think about your elbow and you think about your chest and your shoulders and your butt and your thighs and your knees and your feet and so you just sort of move through your whole body uh, and your face and um, and little by little you try to connect with that part of your body um, and then think about sometimes you could tense up and then release it so you start to feel that uh, that release and also in the beginning, it may be hard to identify a particular body part. Uh, so you can touch your hand, finger and close your eyes and sort of feel your finger moving. And then if you move your hand away and then think about it, you can sort of feel the energy or the connectivity between your mind and your finger. And you'll find it sort of funny. Um, most people can do their fingers, but if you actually think about like a middle toe like it's totally doesn't exist like you can't identify where it is and and you can after after a little bit of practice um, you can put your t feet together like this uh, so you can feel the different toes so you don't have to go bend and all that kind of stuff um, so one is just to sort of get yourself relaxed and also obviously because we're talking about quieting our mind and we've talked about this in other episodes that there's nothing you can really do about it other than to let it settle on its own. So the best thing to do is focus on something completely different that's productive. And this is a great productive, calming thing to do that takes up your brain cycles and allows that other part of your brain to, uh, to quiet down. And so like we talked about you know, muddy water and letting that, that dirt settle at the bottom of the glass on its own that you can't poke around with it. So uh, this is a great way to both relax and, 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 and also quiet your mind in the process. And the other thing is um, our bodies over the years uh, learn how to do certain things. And because we're doing so many things uh, that they automate stuff, you know, just like we're not totally aware of everything that's going on in our body. I mean, we have, you know, T cells fighting disease and uh, all sorts of war is going on and, and things going on that we clearly were not engaged with. 
And, but it's the same with just, you know, moving your, your arms or your hands or your legs. And a lot of things are walking. You, know, you don't think about all these things uh, or we would all go crazy. So, but it's very important as part of a practice, particularly when it, as we get into other uh, practices that relate to like self-healing and things like that, um, that it really does help to reconnect uh, the mind, body, uh, connectivity, the neural connections, um, and how that feels, and how you can sort of move your energy to a particular spot in your body. And you'd be surprised it happens pretty soon. If you practice this for a few weeks, you'll really start to feel that you can sort of migrate uh, that extra energy as you quiet your mind to a particular place in your body. Uh, and you'll be able to feel your fingers in your head and um, and your toes and your your back in that place where you know you have some tension you can sort of focus energy there and release that tension um, just by uh, focusing your mind and your energy in that area so that is a really big uh, benefit to to this practice so basically all you do is you hang out in a very comfortable place and just go through each body part and think about the body part, think about moving it, think about having energy there, the connectivity, you know, t if you need to touch it in some way to, to reinforce that connection, do that. And maybe it's a five or 10 minute thing and, and you're gonna feel great after and you, you're gonna uh, be in a great place to uh, go back to focusing on what you need. Your mind will, should be quite quiet at that point or to start a deeper meditation. Uh, and that's what I got for you today. I think it's uh, something that's really worthwhile to practice. Again, I wish everyone to stay safe. Enjoy the opportunity to, uh, to do all sorts of new uh, things, explore new things, uh, read books, watch movies, take up a hobby, and um, and explore your meditative practice. You know, there is nothing out there. Everything you already have, you already, one of the secrets of this whole practice is everything, you're already perfect. You just have to realize it. And that takes some time of reprogramming and uh, understanding the layers that society has put on you and you've put on you. And, uh, and little by little, you start to realize, hey, you know, things are good as they are, they're perfect as they are, and, and, uh, and so I just stay safe, keep practicing, and enjoy, and just um, find your peace through this madness. It's a good, it's a good test, so uh, I wish everyone well, and if you like this, like it, uh, please subscribe to the channel, and share it with people who you think might benefit from this. So, uh, have a great day, and I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you very much.